All right, hi guys, it's Kyle, and I'm back here for part three of my Encounter Zone, which is part of the level design breakdown series. And if you haven't already noticed, I've made some major changes to the level from the last video. The major one, the biggest change being this extra walkway up here. And I've extended the room out that way, along World X. And why did I do that? Uh, well, let's let's take a quick look uh, okay so the first thing is all right we've got through that we've sort of given the player or at least we've made the building a little bit more interesting because I've never seen well okay so there have been areas of a level that were completely rectangular but it doesn't make for a very interesting encounter zone especially if this was um, if this building was part of like a campaign mode of a game then yeah you'd want to make it interesting you'd probably want to put some other things in there uh, apart from ammo pickups and things like that okay so that's the uh, size of the room explained now the walkway what's the whole point with the walkway the walkway is really designed for well uh, if I look down at the doorway from there we're gonna assume that the enemies are gonna spawn from over here at this doorway over here and if we think about it <coughs> excuse me um, by standing over here on this ledge uh, not a ledge it's a walkway by standing here or anywhere here even whoops whoops sorry guys uh, just need to yeah that's what happens when you're using unity if you drag and your mouse sort of comes out here it sort of freaks out and goes oh I don't know where I'm looking so if I'm standing over here again I have a bit of an advantage but I guess the best advantage would be standing over here which is okay um, because we pretty much said that well this has some multiplayer value to it as well as well as single player value so alright if enemies are coming out from here and I have say a grenade launcher and everybody's probably used that before I can very easily take out the enemies whereas if I'm down here and I have a grenade launcher or a sniper rifle or something it's probably not going to be as useful it's still going to be effective but uh, it's I can get a better shot from up here than I can from down there alright so that's why we have a walkway vantage points tactical advantages for both the player and in some cases if you program them smart enough the AI as well all right, so I'm gonna get rid of this cube over here. Now remember what I said from the first video, right? We gotta give people a reason to walk into the room. In this case, we have to give people a reason to use this walkway, or at least uh, you know get up there and see what's up there. And that's why I have that red cube there. We're gonna assume that this red cube, unlike the other red cubes, re other red rectangles, sorry, in this level we're gonna assume that this particular one is a special weapon that will probably help you with a boss battle further down the level just saying not saying that there will be but it's good to have that on hand right if I went and picked that up then yeah all of a sudden this walkway had meaning to it like it was useful it did serve a purpose apart from giving me the height advantage from this walkway over here or this one over here if I got rid of that then this walkway pretty much has no use again remember what I said about if I had like a sniper rifle or a grenade launcher and I fired it from behind this crate it'd still be effective or even from behind this crate this crate over here I could still use it and it would still do me pretty well right it still have some sort of effect and it will help me but if I put this here and I made this say, I don't know, a, a rocket launcher of some sort with like extra ammo, then all of a sudden, yes, I would want to be over here. I can use my grenade launcher. I do have a sniper rifle. I can use that as well. And by using, by coming up here onto the walkway, I get something for it, right? You really do, as a level designer, you need to be able to bribe the players into exploring your level completely and yeah you do need to do that a lot uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one this ammo crate all the way back here because well there's already one on the other side and 
there's really no point having two really close to each other so I'm just gonna put that there put that there and <clears throat> look at this right the reason why I put that there is because I have one ramp here and I have another ramp here all right if I go into play mode again so really quickly I want to keep this video short this time right if I go over here and I say well I'm not I, I'm not really interested even though there's a weapon up there I'm not really that interested in going up the ramps um, sorry I, I completely missed that <laughs> uh, if I wanted to get that weapon and we have enemies coming through that doorway I obviously don't want to take this ladder up I want to go through here right but that's only in the case of if I miss the ramp that was over this way and a lot of the times at the start of the level um, you can miss a lot of things simply because of the orientation of the player you know you expect to be facing the way that you're meant to go and uh, a lot of the time now uh, people don't take the time to explore the game so little designers work so it gets wasted <laughs> unfortunately but it, I guess you can make it interesting for people by adding in this reward over here that links to the discovery of this doorway over here which therefore leads this ramp which leads to that reward up there and a height advantage over here again let's quickly go back into play mode because as soon as you're in this room you can see that uh, that reward up there. It's, you can just see it, but it's there. And if I had programming done on this character and he could climb up ladders, which is what this blue thingy is, uh, he can go up the ladder and he can walk along the walkway up there and collect it. Right? So, uh, okay, so what have we learned today? We've learned that having a walkway gives us replayability or some chance to explore the level. Uh, but just like building any other room or any area in your map, you need to give them a reason. You need to give them, the player, a reason to use this space up here. All right. Uh, again, if you're making a story-driven level or an objective-based level, having a larger room makes sense because, well, we can have objective A, say, over here, and we can have objective B in the far corner. All right, so that's what a larger room is for. It also allows for, I guess, larger skirmishes, right? Where you have like just this big brawl of different play styles just coming together and making a mess of your level. And again, we have, uh, well, we have replayability, right? If I played the level through and I just sort of just wanted to rush the game, then if I play this level again and I miss this weapon over here then I, if I go back in and I notice it the second time around or the third time around then I'll know that hey that there is something that is valuable up on this walkway and then I'll take the time to climb the ladders go up the ramps or whatever and collect it and also uh, by adding in this walkway we've sort of given this encounter room, this particular encounter zone some multiplayer aspects where, what do I mean by that is, well, we've got this uh, ledge up here and that instantly adds in some sort of multiplayer aspect to the level, which is good. Uh, it gets p If people aren't used to multiplayer yet, then they'll get used to it really quickly. If you add in things like, you know, vantage points and sort of like some really good hiding spots, I guess. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I have a another video lined up which is coming up in a week um, where we will actually put a ceiling on top of the room as well as putting in things like traps um, environmental traps and things like that all right so uh, until then I'll see you all later bye